In the book, you talk, a uh, very funny book, you talk about how often you get mistaken for other celebrities. What's, yes. When's the last time that happened? It happens all the time. It happens all the time? Oh, yeah, it happens all the time. My ma you know, the uh, airports are a great equalizer. That's where, no matter who you think you are, that's where you find out who people really think you are. And I, I still remember when I first got famous, uh, 1992, um, and I, I was walking through an airport, and people were kind of looking at me and smiling and, and pointing, and I was like, I am finally famous, right? <laughs> and this couple comes up to me, and they go, can we take a picture and get your autograph? And I go, yeah. So I take a picture with them, and I sign for the guy, and I write all the best, Dennis Leary. And he goes, what the hell is this? <laughs> and I go, it's all the best, Dennis Leary. And he goes, we thought you were Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> and throws the autograph in the trash. He throws it away? Yeah. <laughs> so that was the beginning of me realizing that my entire, the entire time I've been famous, I've been humbled by the fact that I'm mistaken constantly for Willem Dafoe. Like when he did uh, Spider-Man, he was the Green Goblin, I was the Green Goblin. At, you at probably GSA. got people congratulating you, great like, Green exactly, Goblin. All the time. So, and now I just found out recently, I've been traveling a lot, and people at, at TSA are going to me, hey, congratulations on your award for that movie. And I'm like, huh. Oh. So I Google it. He's won all these acting awards for this movie, The Florida Project. He's probably gonna get nominated for an Oscar and probably win, and so am I. Yeah. <laughs> you should go up. I, I, you should go up. I, I am gonna. You should go up with him. I, You've also been, is this right? I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You've also been mistaken for a female celebrity. Well, here, you want the whole list? You, more than one? Okay, yeah, so here's the list. Uh, I get mistaken mostly by, by Defoe, number one. Number two, Kevin Bacon. I get Footloose all the time, yeah. Right. Number three, Brian Adams. Number four, John Bon Jovi. Number five, Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch! <laughs> Look at the photo! Look at the photo! <laughs> I love that! It, it yeah. makes me feel so bad for Jane Lynch whenever that happens. And it's because I was doing this show, uh, yeah, Sex and Drugs and Rock yeah. and Roll, I was wearing what I like to call gender fluid jackets, which is basically a woman's jacket put on me. Right. And, uh, and, and jewelry and stuff. And uh, this woman, one of the first days we were shooting, I was like, I look pretty cool. I look like a rock star. I'm supposed to be a rock star. And we had this, we were shooting on a block in New York and it was blocked off with police barricades. And this woman at the end of the shot, when they called cut, she went, I have to go to work. Can I just get a quick picture? I go, yeah. So she comes through the barricade and I take the picture. And as she's finishing, she's hailing a cab. She goes, Glee's my favorite show and you're my favorite character. And she gets in the cab and I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. So, but you know, that's my, that's my career, man. I'm on, yeah. By the way, the people I'm mistaken for, people love. People are always that's happy good. to see me. Because they think I'm Jane Lynch or right. you know, Ellen DeGeneres. There or, are worse people. You know. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's like if I there are people right now that think they're at the Ellen taping, which is 100 <laughs> yards that way.